Hey guys, Delta here, and I am really, really excited for Bloodborne. You're going to find that to be an incredibly common theme throughout this video. I've had it pre-ordered for months now. I'm really excited and terrified by the changes to the gameplay and the removal of shields because I'm so used to having that shield. I'm a sword and shield guy. I like that combination. And not having basically my crutch to kind of hide behind and block attacks and parry with is a huge change for me personally. Now, I played Bloodborne at PAX. Ladies and gentlemen, remove all worries, because it was good. It was very good. And it absolutely still feels like a Souls game. The game controls absolutely phenomenally. That's the thing I love about these games, is just the combat is so, so good. And even with the new changes mixing up the control scheme a bit, the controls are as pitch perfect as ever, and the combat flows fantastically. It is an absolute pleasure to play. The extendable weapons are something I'm really excited about because they're an awesome, awesome addition. And switching between the smaller and larger forms of a weapon in the middle of a combo, uninterrupted, just continuing on without missing a beat and continuing to just wail on enemies is one of the coolest sights I've ever seen. And it was definitely something that got a, an audible reaction from me. Like, I was just like, oh shit, that was incredible. I was using the, uh, not the saw axe, but just the regular axe that extends out into a much larger version of it. You'll see it throughout this gameplay. And it was so cool to watch this thing just pop out to a larger form, slam it into a dude's face, and then pop it down to a smaller one-handed form again. Now, this demo, the difficulty was definitely lowered on. Some people are actually really wondering about the difficulty because there's a new regain system in place where you have a certain amount of time after an enemy attacks you to attack them in return and regain health. Now, the demo definitely had a lower difficulty just to make it more accessible to all the people who were there. But it was still pretty damn difficult. Now, for me, I made one wrong turn, got messed up by a big dude, and my demo was over. I went over to watch my friend play, he countered a guy successfully, but then went in for the attack and swung too soon, so by the time he had recovered, the other guy had also recovered, and it was just in time for him to get a full blast of blunderbuss right in the face, and three quarters of his health was gone just like that. Game over. So the difficulty is absolutely still there, and I think it's just going to be even harder because you have to play more aggressively in Bloodborne. It's, it's encouraging you to do that with the evasive options and not having a shield and just improving all your various options to counter and, and stuff like that. Of course, the regain system is a big part of that because you will be losing health and you'll have that opportunity to go in and attack in return and regain health. Now, of course, we were regaining quite a bit of health in this demo. I won't be anywhere near that in the full game, I'm sure. But it's a really interesting system that is going to change up how people play the game for sure. Graphically, Bloodborne is seriously gorgeous as well. It elicited a wow reaction from me more than a few times. Just the level of detail in, in everything, especially the setting and the levels, is breathtaking. And the character models and monster design just look fantastic. It was running at a really steady frame rate as well. It was clocking in around 30 frames per second by my judgment, and there were really no issues with the frames dropping at all. This is an issue that From Software is somewhat notorious for having with their games, where the frame rate just doesn't hold particularly steady on consoles. Ideally, that's not going to be an issue at all in this game. I think with the next-gen consoles, the new generation of consoles, if you aren't getting a locked 30 frames per second at least, well, what the heck are you doing? But the frame rate does not seem to be an issue, and we're still a few months out from release, so it will, it will be cleaned up by then, I am absolutely certain of that. The new heads-up display is also a really nice change. You have, you have all your important information up in the top left-hand corner now. Blood vials replace humanity from Dark Souls, and that's how you heal up. So they take their place on the heads-up display. And uh, you might have figured out from just watching this video that that is how you heal your character. Bullets take up one of the two inventory slots up there. And the other is open for different items such as throwables, Molotov cocktails, pebbles, stuff like that. Uh, just other items that you will pick up through the environment. I really did enjoy the faster take on the Souls formula. It's not a huge difference from the previous game, so don't be sitting here like, oh my god, they're turning into Devil May Cry or something like that. No, not at all. It's a Souls game. It doesn't have Souls on the box, but it is absolutely a Souls game. The lack of shields and improved evasive options do kind of encourage you and force you to play more aggressively, and it's actually just a really cool change-up. It's something that's going to take some getting used to, 
really, I'm going to kind of have to relearn the combat again and change my timing up because I don't have my, my usual sword and shield combination to, to rely on. But I'm just really looking forward to seeing how the changes play out in the full game. I'm also really looking forward to seeing all the different firearms, all the different weapons, and of course there are alternate forms that you can change into in combat because that's one of my favorite things just from playing the game is is flipping between the large and small versions of a, of a weapon in the middle of a combo. It really does look awesome. Those animations are absolutely sweet. We've gotten to see a few more in trailers that weren't available to us in the demo, but it just looks so, so good. I'm so excited for this game. It's coming out next year, and we have a release date for February 5th in Japan only. We don't know about the rest of the world yet. Ideally, it's not going to be too far after that. It'll probably be after February, I think. Otherwise, they're stacking that release up with the order, which would be weird. It's developed by From Software and is being published by Sony Computer Entertainment exclusively for the PS4. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What do you think of Bloodborne? Let me know in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more PAX news, and I'll see you guys next time.